think it is going to be silver. Oh, yeah. Pretty, huh? That is. That's a silver wedding band, I believe. Whoa. 938, you said? Or, yeah, 948. 948. Yeah, that's too high to be gold. I'm going to try to ring it out with my finger real quick. Sorry, guys. Bad video, I know. Hello. All right, guys, we're on a quick hitter here. Not a big yard, but a busy street. So, you don't know what we'll find. It's probably been hit, but who knows? Somebody may have passed it up because it's hard parking here. We'll, we'll see what we find. Guys, I haven't popped much out of this place, but I did find this old plane. It's got old hard rubber wheels on it. I'm not sure if it's a Tootsie plane or right after that. It's pretty cool, though. And uh, that's about all i found here so far, so I'll keep going, see if I can dig something else, but it's a Navy plane. But I don't think it's real old. It was deep, though, so we'll see what else I can find. Cool. All right, guys, I just popped this Mercury out. Jeff live dig it on his show on the Plugmasters. Go over and check it out, but 43 Mercs come out of the hole there. And he got the live digging on his camera. I did the digging. But first good find for me for the day other than the ring. So cool find. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, we got the plug master here. He's got a live dig, live dig one here. And he's complaining because it's under the root. But yeah, I good. bet he gets it anyway. What do you bet? You don't think I'll quit on it? No, you're not going to quit on it. It's the exact no. same signal you got just a second ago. Yeah. Probably a barber. I hope. I hope so too, man. It's old enough to be a barber here. It's a penny. Are you kidding me? That rang up exactly like your Merc Dime just did. Wow. It's not even a weedy. Hmm. That was a bust. Oh well. Live dig memorial. Let's see what else we can get. Got to keep it real now. I just had a signal on the E-Track that was just all over the place, but it was deep. So I'm going to see what it is. Hopefully here. The ground's starting to dry out here in Missouri. So we're being a lot of rain, but this has got a lot of root system. This dirt's got some major root system in it. So let's see what we can get here. Probably some kind of junky thing. I'll get back with you. Maybe deeper than one. All right, guys. I finally got down to it. It was super deep on a terrible signal. I mean, bounced, but it stayed in the machine. But it was a terrible signal. It's a wheat. Looks like an older wheat too. It's got a green green tone to it. What sucker was deep. See if we can scratch the date off of it. That thing was deep. I mean, I couldn't believe it. it's down there about eight inches or so. Super deep for my E-Track. You get a date on it? Can't see it myself. But it's an older one. It's green as it is, deep as it was. I know it's old. Cool find. Let's go on to another. All right, guys, I popped the plug out here. I got my coin down there, I think. It's really another terrible signal. But it's down in there. Right at the very bottom of the hole. I got it. It's a coin. Let's see what it is. Is it either going to be a zinc penny? Oh, it is a zinc penny. Or Indian. And it's a deep zincing. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Down in the bottom of that hole. Just dug a, on a terrible signal. Dug another weed head. 1910 on this one. Mosquito landed on me there, I'm sorry. I had to swap it. 1910 wheat. That's an old one. Good green one. This one was about five inches. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Back on that same hole. There's something else down there. I knew that was a really weird signal that I hit on that wheat. Rang up real high for it to be just a wheat by itself. So let's see. What else is in there? There's a nail. That's probably why it rang up real weird, is that nail. All right. 
Good find. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, Jeff just popped this Indian. $18.99. That's a good one. He got it over where I was looking, but I must have missed it. And it happens, so go on to another one. Gang, it's been a little of a dry spell, but we're after the radio show and stopped and hit a yard over by where I live at. And my first target in the yard was a 1919 wheat head. And I want to get a wreath head really bad today, but right now I'm sticking with the Wheaties. 1919. Made a bunch of them now. Alright gang, my Good second luck. wheat here in this yard. And that's another oldie. Good green one. And wheat heads, when they get green, they get old. And it looks like it's a 19 something. <laughs> Can't see it. Maybe you can. Alright, let's see if we can get something else. Hey gang. Wheat head number three. Cool. Went from hardly anything to three. That gang Good got deal. me a wheat. Another one, 1958. D, last year they made them. Down about four inches. Yeah, guys, so I've played like. a lot of junk in my day. But this has got to be the ugliest ring I've ever dug. By far. I mean, that is pure ugly. Wow. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't go anything but better than that. Hey guys and gals. Missouri Mike back with another cleanup. I want to show you this before I forget it. The world's most ugliest ring. I'll tell you what, that is one ugly ring. Had to show that to you. Showing it off. Ugly ring. Uh, on this hunt, ended up getting several clad pennies here. Uh, Zinkins, I mean, I'm sorry. I did get some clad also. A lot of newer clad. I got a 64 here. That's pretty sweet. And I ended up getting some these memorials. I'm sorry, I get all confused. Did get some clad uh, four dimes and a quarter. Um, got a real nice Mercury 1943S on this trip. It's pretty cool. And I did get a pop of good silver ring. That's pretty neat. Got an Indian 1905. Oh yeah, I'll take it any day. 1905 Indian. Yep. 1917 wheat, 1958 wheat, 42, and I got a 1912. That's pretty old. And then the first, second year issue, 1910 wheat. And I ended up with, or excuse me, that's a 1919. This is a 1910. And then I ended up with some play money. I play one. Play money one. I hadn't dug one of those before. It looked like that anyway. And it got me a jet. I don't know if it's a Tootsie jet or not, but got me a jet. It's pretty cool. It says Navy on it. So anyway, it was a great hunt. Did get a little bit of lead here. Some what I call camp lead, which is just fragmented lead. So had a good time, good hunt. I appreciate you coming along. Oh, forgot my little corner thing. This is aluminum, but I thought it was pretty cool. Got that too. And this right here, I think it's just a junky thing. Something may have hung on at one time. Don't know, but anyway. So anyway, my ring here is a 925 silver. So that's a pretty cool find. Hey, I appreciate you coming along, guys and gals. As always, on to the next one. This is Mike, and I'm out.